I don't even know what to think about all this. Yeah! Hola well, gang and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your Old Nerd of the Day. And I try things so you don't have to. Today I am over at Arby's for a limited time item. One of their, they, they have three fish that just came out. Three fish sandwiches. And I am here to try the Arby's King's Hawaiian Fish Deluxe Sandwich. If you haven't already, please hit that red subscribe button and the little bell notification so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. And then punch that like button in the face because that's the groovy thing to do. Okay, so as I said, here at Arby's, trying their new, one of their new fish sandwiches, limited time, Let's go to the clipboard of fluff, and I'll tell you what's in this thing. Uh, the Arby's King's Hawaiian Fish Deluxe Sandwich consists of a crispy fish, of, uh, of crispy filet, cr uh, fish is a given, crispy filet of wild-caught Alaskan Pollock fish, tartar sauce, iceberg lettuce, tomatoes, cheddar cheese, all on a sweet, fluffy bun from Hawaii. I love the Hawaiian buns. If, if I go to the store, the grocery store, I, I tend to get the Hawaiian biscuits. Those, those, they're just wonderful. They're just sweet and they're light and they're just amazing. If you've never had one of the Hawaiian biscuits, at the, go to the store and get some. You gotta love it. But today we're here for the sandwich, so we will use the handy dandy steering wheel tray there. There's the bag it came in. Arby's, we got the meat, as they say. Arby's is a great place for roast beef sandwiches and, and brisket sandwiches and all kinds of stuff. For a fast food place, Arby usually really, really excels and is known for this kind of stuff. As you can tell, I'm pretty over on Arby's. And one of the cool things is I used the Arby's app. So when I ordered any of those fish sandwiches, I also got a drink and I got a fry that I'll be pulling out in a second. So I have the napkins right there. Have the damage. We got sauces. We've got both Arby's sauce and we have their famous horsey sauce. And we got four packets, two of each. Pulling out the fries, there's the Arby's fries, the famous Arby's curly fries. As I said, using the app, I got the fries and the drink totally free. I gotta try one of these right off the bat. So there you go, there is an Arby's curly fry. They said just a free fry, so I'm really happy that I got the curly fries. Actually, I don't know if they have just regular fries. They may only have curly fries. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Get it in there. Mmm. Just crispy and seasoned up and just really good. Curly fries, waffle fries, those two kind of fries definitely definitely the way to go and see that's a small too that's considered a small fry mcdonald's would probably give you like half that as a small fry so that's a good amount of fries right there and i would have thought this would have been a medium but this is what they gave me this is supposedly a small drink and there's the sandwich that is a good sized sandwich right there it says we have the fish let's open this up there you go there is the hawaiian fish deluxe from arby's you can see the hawaiian bun there and the pollock and the tomato and the iceberg lettuce and there's uh cheese on there too going in for a closer look the bun all the tartar sauce, tons of tartar sauce on this thing. There is the fish filet, nice good sized fish filet. The cheese could be melted a lot more. And there's your two tomatoes on there. And the iceberg lettuce, a decent amount of lettuce. Yeah, that cheese needs to be melted on there more. All right, there it is. 
Let's give it a shot. Hmm. I tried to take a nice big bite so you could look at the fish. There is that fish, nice and white, inside the way a good piece of fish is supposed to be. Let's try it again. Okay, word of warning, right off the bat, here's a tip, grab a lot of napkins because with the amount of tartar sauce on here, it's all over the place. You're gonna get messy, so grab napkins. A lot of them. Okay, by the numbers. The bun, it's decent. It's not as good as I expected it to be because I, when the Hawaiian rolls, when you have them, it sets your expectations up real high. So if you get a, a not up here, Hawaiian type of bun or roll, you're kind of disappointed. It could have been fresher. Um, yeah, as I said, a lot of tartar sauce, nice sweet tartar sauce, the way it should be. Borders on a good McDonald's tartar sauce. I love the tartar sauce that goes with the fish filet. And um, so yeah, the tartar sauce is good. A lot of lettuce. I, I do have a bone to pick and a beef with Arby's because on their higher priced sandwiches, I really believe they need to use leaf lettuce rather than the, the sloppy wet stuff. That's just cheap lettuce. And even though it's shredded and it's, it's kind of fancy in and of itself, I think it needs to be, I, I, I know it should be a leaf lettuce rather than the 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 what they have iceberg. That, that's what I was trying to think. Iceberg lettuce, yeah. Don't don't have iceberg. The tomatoes are nice. They have a nice crunch to them. They taste fresh. Uh, the fish itself, the star of the show, um, is flaky. Um, mine seems to be just a slight bit overcooked so it's not as tender and flaky as I've had prior here at Arby's when it comes to their fish but still I know what it's supposed to be it has got a nice flavor to it it was just a slight bit slight bit overdone and the cheese the cheese needed to be melted more as you can see it was just like a slab of a square piece of cheese that just needed that melty thing going on. And the bun looks a little bit beat up too. It looks like um, somehow the, the buns got squashed somewhere along the line. So presentation could have been better. The damage on the Arby's King's Hawaiian Fish Deluxe sandwich was a nice surprise. This thing was only $4.49. Pretty freaking decent. When I headed over here, I thought this thing's probably going to be six or seven dollars. Hmm, not so. Four dollars and 49 cents. Nice price. Especially because I got free fries and free drinks, so that makes it even better. Now, if this was a roast beef sandwich or a brisket or, or something like that, I would have put uh, the horsey sauce is actually my favorite. I would have put the horsey sauce on there, but horsey sauce on a piece of fish just wouldn't work. It's geared more toward the roast beef and the brisket and that kind of meat. On the Nerdometer, I would give the Arby's King's Hawaiian Fish Deluxe Sandwich, I think I would give this a middle of the road I like it. It would have been a high I like it, except for the factors that my bun looks like it had been through the war. And um, the cheese needed to be melted more. And the fish was slightly overcooked. I know I'm nitpicking a little bit on the fish, but it is what it is. Uh, but the price 
plays a nice factor in there. Um, and I would have given it a high, I like it, had those things that I mentioned uh, been correct. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I would. It's a good sandwich. Uh, limited time, so you're not gonna be able to get it forever. Any of the three fish sandwiches. So I would recommend that you go out and give it a try. And if you did, if you do, come on back, leave a comment down below and let everybody here know what you thought and be sure to get your fries and your drink there use that use that app there you go gang another review on the bag thanks so much for being here hit me up at my social networks a lot of activity going on around there especially facebook and instagram but you can find me at facebook instagram twitter old nerd reviews straight across the board on the website oldnerdreviews.com and on the new site, or the new channel, Old Nerd Reviews 2, T-O-O, -O, all those links are down below. That's, over there is where we do product reviews and demos and unboxings, whereas here we strictly do food-related stuff. If you do all that, my friends, you too can become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh -huh. All right, you guys have a freaking awesome day. It looks like the sun's peeking out a little bit. The shadows are coming in, which sucks when I'm doing video, but it is what it is. All right, I will see you later. See you next video. Bye now.